We're joined by Princeton head coach Mitch Henderson, student athletes Tosan Awoma, and Matt Alaco. We'll begin with an opening statement from coach. We'll then go questions for the student athletes first. And as a reminder, please state your name and affiliation before your question. Coach. First, I, I want to say thank you to the Ivy League office. Um, I've been on the other side of this, but you know, losing. And uh, I've been in all different parts of it and different locations, and it's always been done right. And um, it's an incredible experience for the student athletes, of course, when you win. But there's a lot of effort that goes into this. The work's done on the weekend, but um, just thankful to the Ivy League office. And then to our own staff, John Mack um, and his administrative staff. Uh, you know, one of the facilities guys came up to me a week ago and was like, hey, I just want to let you know, thanks for making it so we can, this can be worthwhile. And I was like, ugh, you know. Um, and he said the same thing to me tonight after, after we won. So um, I'm just so proud of the team and the group. You know, we, we all, I say often, like, we put all of our chips in on winning the league, but we really want to go to the NCAAs. That's what we want. Um, it's what the school wants. It's what everybody wants in the program. Um, you know, John Thompson, I saw him afterwards. He's like, oh, okay, all is right in the world. And, uh, and we, we, um, we want to represent uh, with a good group of guys on a national scale, on a national uh, level. So we're really excited to be doing this. There's nothing better. Um, I'm so proud of this group. We weren't the best group all season. We started off rough. We well, a rough start. Many, in the, many of you in here didn't pick us to win the league. I may not have either. Um, we got better and better as the season went on, starting with the loss to Yale here three weeks ago. That really opened us up in a really brutal way. One at Harvard and then and, um, coughed up a big lead and then figured out a way to come back from down 18 against Penn to clinch the title and then had a rough, really, really, I thought we played really well this weekend. Um, starting with these two guys, Ryan Langborg was just terrific, Keyshawn. Um, I'm so proud of the group and, uh, you know, just just uh, re really pleased and, and um and happy for them. Questions for the student athletes? Jerry Carino from the Asbury Park Press. Tosan, long journey from England to now. Uh, what is this like for you, and uh, what did you think of the way uh, the team responded to the moment this weekend? Yeah, amazing. Um, even more amazing to do it at home. You know, Prince is my home. Newcastle is my second home at this point. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, the guys are amazing. Uh, it means the world. It was, it was, it was. I think it was a great performance from us. And, and everyone chipped in. Everyone, everyone made huge plays down the stretch. And we just can't wait to to celebrate. And then, uh, you know, lock in again uh, later this week. Kyle Franco with the Trentonian. Tosan, how much of a motivation was the feeling last year? Um, you know, after after that game, uh, and, and then once you got back there, coming into today, yeah, massive. Um, so you don't really stop thinking about uh, that. Uh, you know, losing losing in the final and, and uh, being so close and it being taken away from you. Um, that's been kind of what you try and lock in on every year. I mean, uh, throughout the year when you know tough times, whatever it may be, uh, it's what you think about. And, and uh, having an opportunity to do this is, is unreal. Tosan, again, you got the assignment on Pulakitis tonight to start. Obviously, he, you know, really hurt you guys in the first two meetings. Um, you know, what was the, the key tonight against him? He was two for seven, and he only scored seven points. Yeah, um, you know, we were all locked in on him <clears throat> as a team, and um, I think it's just team defen defense, really, and, and that's what it's been all season. Um, it's never one guy's job, and guys are always in there helping help, helping one another and, and we do a great job of that and, and supporting each other from behind so I, I know I had a lot of confidence behind me um, and, and guys helped me so it gave me confidence to you know press up and, and take some of his his shots away just wanted to add to that if Matt uh, what was it like watching Tosan play that kind of defense in that spot and just sort of rise to the moment and put the team on his back pretty pretty inspiring I think you know Everyone knows, you know, offensively, Tosan is pretty special. But, uh, you know, today in particular, he was – I thought he was unbelievable. And, you know, when he plays like that, you know, he's the best player in this league, you know, on both ends, I think. So, uh, he was terrific today. And, I mean, just just willed us, carried us there.
Hey, uh, for both the players, how big of a role did the crowd play tonight getting to play in front of your home fans? <laughs> huge role, huge role. Uh, yeah, shout out to all our fans. Um, you know, games like this, um, it seems like a neutral environment because both teams get a great support system. But we know, you know, in the back of our minds, it, it was our gym and, and we had a ton of ton of support there. So um, we'd been saying all day that, you know, when things get tight, just listen to the crowd and, and we have all that support behind us. Yeah, Tosan. Oh, sorry, Andrew Kramer, Yale Daily News. Um, Tosan, in the second half, Yale seemed to switch Bez and Bang on to you. Um, what was it like having a smaller, quicker defender guarding you? Yeah, um, he's obviously the defense player of the year. Um, you know, you look forward to challenges like that. Uh, and he did a pretty good job, but um, it, it left, uh, I think, some of our other guys more open or some of that worst defenders on. So I think uh, we, we did a good job of taking advantage of that and um, just finding good shots. Front row on the aisle. Jonathan Tannenwald of the Philadelphia Inquirer, but for either player, but perhaps for Matt first. Your team has quite the willingness to get in the lane and take an elbow in the chest from somebody else and embrace the contact in, in those tight areas. What goes into the mental side of that? Uh, just the will to win. You know, games like this, I mean, taking a charge or, or you know, offensive foul is, is just a winning play. So Keyshawn took a couple this weekend. He was huge. Cade, Zach, always willing to give their body up. Um, so I think, you know, just everyone really bought into what it takes to win. And, and that's, you know, huge for us. Diego Uribe with the Daily Princetonian. Matt, yesterday um, started off with a few early turnovers. Shots maybe weren't falling like they usually do for you. Today, 15 points, seven rebounds, zero turnovers, great defense all throughout. Can you talk about what it is about your mentality that allows you to bounce back like that? And coach, I mean, you've been gushing about Matt all year. Why is this not surprising to you? Well, uh, nothing, nothing changed. You know, we won the game yesterday and that's all that matters. And, uh, and we did the same today. You know, the mindset's always just to win the game. So it doesn't matter what it looks like as, as long as you're, you know, winning at the end of the game. And, I mean, you know, m often sometimes at Princeton, you have student athletes that think the shortest distance between two points is a curve, right? And Matt is like, it's a straight line. And it's always, yes, I'll go that way. Yes, I'll do that. Everything, always. So it's, it's a joy. Brian DeNovellis, Tri-State College Basketball Podcast. For the players, we heard what Coach said, we expect to go to the NCAAs. So now that it's here and you know that you're going, Matt, I'll begin with you. What is it like to get over that hump and know that you're putting another banner up there, you have a chance to play in, for a storied program in this tournament? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy for our guys, and, and it's a tremendous accomplishment, but um, there's still basketball to be played which is the beauty of it. We're not done yet. And, um, you know, we're happy to be in this position, but I don't think I don't think we're satisfied. You know, like whoever we get matched up against, uh, you know, I'm expecting it to be a great game and we're going to compete. Yeah, I think, um, you know, coming here, you're always playing for something bigger than yourself. Um, you know, this place does so much for each of us individually and being able to give back in any way and, you know, putting up a, another banner as a group is, is just an amazing feeling. And, and um, you know, being able to do that together on our, our home floor is even better. On the left. Steve Silverman, Ivy Hoops Online. Um, you know, you guys, uh, Yale has a reputation for being a very defensive team, a very physical team, but it seemed like you guys were the more physical team today. You definitely out-rebounded them. That's one key metric. Um, was it your goal to come in and make sure that, you know, on this day and this game, you were going to be the more physical team? Um, you, not just today, but we try to be every game. You know, if you're the more physical team and you control the boards, then I think you got a great shot to beat anybody. So, um, but physically, you know, they're really tough. Yale's a good team and they've been in this position before. So we know it was going to take everything we had. And, um, you know, it was, it was an unbelievable game, but I thought we did a great job. Of, of you know just playing tough, staying in the moment, rebounding, um, and just making you know winning plays. Any more questions for student athletes? 
Um, I know finishing, sorry, Justin File from the Princeton Alumni Weekly. Um, I know that finishing the game was really important, but the start that you guys got off to, can you just talk about the effect of that and just playing with the lead? Uh, Yale only had the lead for, a, I think, all but less than a minute. So uh, he had the lead pretty much the whole game. Yeah, it was it was nice. Um, you know, we, we kind of held up, held up before the game and, when we when we got out right on the out on the court and we we were like you know let's get off to a good start here let's string together stops um, we'll get good shots and, and you know, we'll live with, you know, with the first four minutes and you know we execute and we execute all game and it, and it really started uh, you know in the first four minutes of the game um, we just got ourselves off to a great start and set the tone for the game I think. Any other questions? Second row on the right. Isabel Rodriguez with the Daily Princetonian. For both of you, but Coach, feel free to jump in as well. I'm just curious, Caden Pierce had 12 points, 10 rebounds, a couple of huge shots. What's it been like playing with him and knowing that you're going to have him next year too? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just uh, unbelievable teammate, competitor. Uh, he's, he's a winner. That's one word to describe him. He's a winner. He's he's terrific. He's, you know, people say he's young, he's a freshman, but, you know, forget all that. He's He's a winner. That's what he is. I not say any, anything better than that. Any other questions? Toast on Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good, Good luck. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Questions for Coach on the left, front row. Thanks. Mitch, it seems hard to believe for the historians in the room that it's been a few years since you've been in this position. And it had been a few years before that, and in turn. Do you think about that at all in a moment like this? Yeah, definitely. I um, actually think about it every day. Walk into the gym, and you look up at the banners, and <clears throat> I spend a lot of time in the gym, and I love coming in here. And you want to put a good team on the floor, um, especially when you're an alum. So yeah, I think about it every day, especially with this group. Given you know Tosan's return and um, where we were last year at this exact same time, um, having lost to Yale, so um, I'm really it it's it it does it it's the coolest it's the best thing to do. It's like one of the coolest things in sports. Um, a lot of people that were here today have played in that tournament and that were that were uh, and, and are used to watching us play in that tournament. So uh, I take. I think about it a lot, and I'm very proud of the guys that gave us a chance to be there. You know the question I'm going to ask, right? Go ahead, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to, you know, get over the hump on Yale? Yeah. You did beat them last year, so for those who are thinking, you know, Princeton doesn't beat Yale, um, yeah, you beat them once last year, but you did lose twice this year. You lost in the championship game last year. So um, is the monkey off your back? Do you feel like the monkey is off your back on this? And what are your thoughts about you know, I, you know, beating Yale this year? You're as good as your last game, right? We, well, I mean, it, they're really good, and they have really good players. And it's a very, uh, um, you know, um, I, I think your record's important, but, you know, what you – um, what the coolest thing about coaching kids and these get ki these kids is to watch them grow. And so it's not just me, it's them. They've lost to Yale too. We've done it together. Um, and we've, then we beat them today together and they did it. And sometimes you don't. And I thought if we had lost today, I'd be so proud of them. And I would have told them so. Um, but you know, sometimes it goes your way and, uh, that's a really good team we beat. They've been, as you mentioned, they've been on top of the league for a long time, and and uh, now it's our turn to represent the league in the tournament. Coach, uh, <coughs> George Clark, Ivy Hoops online. You have to take a lot of credit for drawing up that play at the end of the first half to free with <laughs> Caden for the, the three-pointer. Uh, Coach Jones thought that was a major turning point in the game, and he suggested that perhaps there was a foul where one of your kids ran over one of his. That's interesting. Did you did you see that uh, that play? Yeah, I thought perhaps there was a foul on them, running over our guy. Um, but you see things different ways. Do you agree that that was a turning point in the game? It was a big shot by Cade. Um, we had nice momentum going into halftime. They had the ball to start the second half. 
Um, I thought in the second half we really tightened up on the defensive end. Listen, we it, it can get chippy with the best in, in this league. There's nothing like it. No, winning this league is so hard. The coaching is so good. The kids are usually really locked in on what they need to do, especially this year. And Yale has, is very good. So we knew it was going to be – it wouldn't be left up to the officials. And I thought, I thought they called a great game. Second row on the right. Jerry Carino, Asbury Park Press. Mitch, what do you think Coach Carrillo would think of, of this team, this this group, this moment, you know, this this tournament? Yeah. Thought about him a lot. We were wearing the bow tie patch this year. Um, Matt Alaco would be his – if he were to – one one time coach said, um, God blessed me the day that kid walked in my life about Kip Miller. That's how I feel about Mush. Um, he loved Mush. And – you know, he likes to see teams improve and get better. He used to say to me after a good game, you know, there's no going back from that one, Mitch, you know, the way the team plays. And, uh, and you know, you, so much of what I say is him and regurgitated. It should be asterisk, it's Coach Krill. So um, a lot of this is honoring him. You know, there's a through line of him, and we've got that picture of him up in the, up in the rafters. So he'd be very proud. Question in the back left corner. Yeah, um, Tosan had four assists today to get up to, I think, 305 in his career, which I think passes you for eighth all time on the Princeton list. Yeah. Um, can you talk about his playmaking and also to be yeah. personally involved in that, what that means? Yeah, I mean, he, he did it in three. I did it in four. Um, he's such a beautiful passer. He had a couple passes tonight that if you slow, slow it down, he's literally making a decision at the last second kind of throwing it over here this way. And somebody asked yesterday, thought that maybe Steve, it was you, that he thought Tosan imposed his will on the game early. This has been a challenge with Tosan for three years to get him to impose his physical will on the game. And I thought that we took strength from that this weekend, him imposing himself. We'll never have anybody that's as good of a passer like him around here for a really long time at his size. He's a very difficult kid to cover. Um, we had five turnovers tonight. We, we've been like automatically 10 turnovers every game, just like give you 10. And so that's a big reason why we're sitting here right now. Front row on the left. Sorry, you said the left. I wasn't sure which left. Um, I saw the offensive rebounds, but that's maybe for another conversation. By the time we all get together next year or even by next fall, there will probably be a lot of conversation about whether this tournament should stay at four teams or expand to eight. And at a moment like this, I know you've got a lot in your mind, but do you mind answering that one? And what do you think of it? Uh, I, you know, I, I, there's a lot of people in here that, that have those discussions, um, and they'll, they'll make those decisions for us. Um, when I was a part of the discussions early on to have the tournament, I'm very pleased that we had the opportunity to have it, you know, here at Princeton. Um, it's, it, it's really – it's a lot when you're trying to, you know, with in middle of February when you're trying to make it, it's a lot on the student athletes. But we went up to Harvard, and after we had had a really difficult loss to Yale, and we were playing a Harvard team that was still fighting for their life. And in years past, that game didn't mean as much because they were maybe out of it mathematically eliminated. So it made for some good basketball. So I, I think it, I think our alums of the Ivy League like it. Um, you know, you know, I, I I'm. I'm so happy to be here right now and talking. We have time for two more. Kyle. Well, first, I, I do want to say congratulations, Mitch, before this press conference ends. Um, and, you know, look, last weekend, a double banner weekend for Princeton basketball. This weekend, another double banner mm -hmm. weekend for men's and women's basketball at Princeton University. Are we experiencing a renaissance of basketball at Princeton right now? Well, the women have been unbelievable for five years. We've been trying to catch up to them. Uh, I don't know about renaissance for them, but for us, I love where we were. We won the league last year, back-to-back -back titles. Um, 
I saw Carla after the game, and I was like, man, I love Caitlin Chen. She goes, I love Caden Pierce. You know, um, We root really, really hard for one another, and we support one another, and that's the, just the way it should be. We think of this as 50-50, right down the middle, and, and we, um, we go together in our success. And um, I think that makes Ivy League – well, here, um, I, I take a lot. I, let, I love that. Um, so we, we, we have a lot of interest. And I'm really glad the women's selection show is right after ours, right? I think that's really cool. I'm glad we're going to do that together. Last question in the back on the right. Coach Brian DiNovellis, Tri-State College Basketball Podcast. I echo Carla Berube's sentiments on, on uh, Pierce. There were several plays tonight that he just makes me say, wow, uh, the dunk on one end, the charge on the other, the three at the end of the half. He seems to grab every big rebound there is, including with under two minutes to go, hits the free throws. What can you say about him, and does he make you say, wow, how is he doing this as a freshman? Yeah. So I don't know if I should say this because I will, but it was, Cade was looking at St. Thomas in Minneapolis, newly Division One, us, and he was a really good golfer in high school. And I went out there, and I went to go see him, and we went out to lunch right next to his high school when he showed up in like, really, you know, it was like, um, it was like uh, dressed like you're on spring break day. And he hadn't committed. And I was like, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and man, you just get lucky. We're so lucky. He is a big 10, big 12, high major player in every sense of the word. He, from the minute he stepped foot on campus, he was good at the things that are so hard for freshmen. I mentioned earlier, I was joking about the shortest distance between two points being a curve. That's freshmen. They, they're like, well, what about this? No, go that way. You know, listen. Cade, every, since the very beginning, he said, well, if I listen, I'm going to play. And he's tough and physical. Happens that his, one of his helps that one of his brothers is a receiver for the Colts and another one's played professionally. And there's, a, there's something in the air in that family. Um, I don't know. They think it's normal. Everybody else was like, it's unbelievable. So uh, uh, we're here because of him. And of course, there's a lot around us, but we really needed that spot badly this year. We were, you know, we've had some injuries and some issues on the team where we, we've just lost guys. Um, so he, he stepped up in a big way. And, and in our league, freshmen, you know, we were the only school, maybe one of the handful, us in Dartmouth, starting a freshman and playing three freshmen significant minutes. So I'm really happy that we're here. And, you know, he's great building for the future. Coach, thank you, and best of luck in the NCAA right. tournament. All right, thanks. Go Tigers.